hi guys welcome to today's edition of my youtube video so today i will be taking us on a brief tutorial on how to bridge our xcn from base to ethereum so basically there are three chains where you can get um xcn it could be either in base erc20 or in bnb all right so in case you want to do staking you know staking is only done with scn that is in erc20 all right so in order for you to stake if probably your scn was in base there is need for you to bridge it to erc20 before you can you know go your staking all right so my sn now is in base and what i intend to do now is to bridge it from base to erc20 so how do i go about that follow me carefully in this video and i'm going to briefly take us through how we can bridge our scn from base to ethereum so the first thing you need to do is to lock on to superbridge.app slash base all right of course you need to know that there are a lot of scam websites outside there so you need to be very you know conscious of the website you are opening make sure that it is the authentic website so this is how the interface looks like all right so having gotten here what you need to do is to connect the wallet that you have your SEN in of course could either be coinbase wallet metamax or trust wallet these are the three major wallets that support xcn all right so i have uh, my xcn in my metamax so what i need to do here is to connect my metamax all right so i've done that and i now allow it to load so basically my metamax has been connected to this site all right so what i need to do now is to since i am bridging from base my xcn is in base so i am going to be bridging from base to ethereum so what i need to do now is to switch from base to ethereum then i head over to this drop down and i select the token i have about forty-seven thousand onyx and this is what i intend to bridge all right so i now click on maximum and allow it to load all right so it's going to review and mind you this is the information this is the fee gas fee that's going to take and also it tells you that it's going to take seven days for the bridge to be completed all right so you need to wait for seven days before your xcn in base will be bridged to ethereum so you can now click on review bridge i've clicked on review bridge these are the information all right bridge from base this is the amount get on ethereum this is the amount i also intend to get from ethereum of course we can see here transfer time minus seven days this is gas cost this is the cost and this is the fee zero fees all right so if you are okay with this information what you need to do is to click on continue all right so i've clicked on continue then what i need to do here is to click here now read this information so make sure that the wallet you are bridging to support ethereum Check ethereum support before your bridge or you may lose your crypto do not bridge to an exchange of course what this information what is telling you is that you need to make sure that the wallet you are bridging this erc 20 scn to support ethereum of course you are not going to be bridging to an exchange so you need to make sure that the wallet you intend to bridge supports ethereum so having done that having comfortable with this information what you need to do here is to click here all right my wallet supports ethereum you click there and then you click on continue of course then you come here 
transactions and wait times. Of course, these are the information you need to tick. I must complete two extra transactions in Ethereum. You said yes, gas prices may fluctuate significantly. Of course, then a bridge cannot be sped up or cancelled once started. If you are comfortable with this information, then you click on continue. Alright, then you need to make sure that you cannot cancel once it has started you cannot cancel this transaction all right so basically this is how you know one can bridge your sn from base to ethereum all right so i want to believe that this video is helpful and share it to your friends drop a comment if there is any place you have question or things you want to know you can drop in the comment section and i will be glad to take you through all right thank you thank you for listening